Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forza Long Guide called Quattro Valval which wants you to own and drive the 1988 Lamborghini Countach LP5000 QV to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So this is the car in question and it will sort you back 220,000 credits from the auto show or you might be able to pick one up a little bit cheaper in the auction house as well. Now of course I have created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forza Thumb. The share code is 10678334848 and hopefully this should help you along with the challenges. Talking of which, the first one here simply wants you to win a street race, which is nice and easy. So to do this, we're going to head over to the Costa Ricosa street race, where I have a race blueprint set up for you guys to use called Forza Thon Easy. Share code is on your screen there. And this is just the normal race, but with no AI driver tiles, you're guaranteed a win. And if you've tuned your car and you sort of actually gun it, you'll do it in about two and a half minutes. So it's fairly quick to complete the first challenge there. Not difficult at all. Moving on to the next one here, simply wants you to drive for five miles in your Kintosh. Again, super easy. And to do a challenge like this, I just recommend going flat out on the highway. And that's probably the quickest way to complete it. It doesn't have to be on the highway. You don't have to be going flat out. But to me, this is just the quickest way to complete a challenge such as this. And it will barely take you two minutes if you're completely gunning it. Now the final challenge here, again nice and easy, wants you to earn three stars from speed traps. Now I know this is a little unconventional, sorry. Uh, I recommend using the Paso Inferior speed trap. So three stars on here is only 105 mile an hour. So it's a really low three star target. And I know, like I said, it's a bit unconventional. Rear wheel drive supercar on a dirt track speed trap. However, it's really easy to do if you get a decent enough run up. Doesn't need to be a huge run up, but just a semi decent one and you'll still be able to smash it. This is still rear wheel drive as well. Not all wheel drive converted or anything like that. So still really easy to do. Now, normally with a challenge like that, you don't have to get three stars in one run. It can be two stars in one run and a, and a star on a second run, for instance. It really doesn't matter. But anyway, guys, I hope this guide did help you out. If it did and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.